What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to talk about the sampling functions inside your MPC software. All right, so let's begin. So I have a drum loop here. All right, and there's many things we could do with this drum kit. So, well, drum loop. And here are your functions here. You could slice it discard, delete, silence, extract, normalize, reverse, fade in, fade out, pitch shift, time stretch, gain change, copy, bit reduce, and you can turn stereo to mono. All right, so for the discard, if you want to discard a portion of your sample, so let's say I take the start point and I bring it up here. This looks like, it looks like a kick. Let me put on zero snap. And I take this, discard will discard everything outside of this loop. So this will be gone and this will be gone. So if I hit discard, as you can see, it says press and do it will delete the data beyond the start and end points. And now I'm left with that loop that I just had. Okay. Undo. Now, if I hit delete, delete will delete this section here and glue together this and this part, the beginning and the end. So if I hit delete, alert, pressing do it will delete the section between start and end points. If I hit do it, and I play the loop, pretty cool feature, undo, silence, press and do it will silence the section between the start and end points, so let's hit do it, and there's your silence, oh well, let's Okay, hit undo. Extract. Extract will just take this part of the sample and delete that part and that part here, the, the front and the end. So if I hit extract, and it'll convert it to a new sample. And that's the sample name it'll give it. So. Hit do it. Now over here, not that one, but this one here, here's the extracted loop. Okay. Let me get rid of this one. This one we'll do later. So that's extract. Normalize will basically get, will make it sound as loud as possible We'll see. Let's see. Hit normalize. As you can see, it'll make all the peaks hit the top. And it'll make the softer parts a little bit louder, too. Well, everything on here is already peaking, so it's kind of hard. Let's, uh, actually, let's, uh, let's do this section here. Boom. Now, if I hit normalize... See how that part just grew up, uh, got bigger a little bit. And I could do that with the other hi-hats here. Normalize. Okay. Okay, so we can also re reverse the sample. So if we hit reverse, pretty self-explanatory. 
it'll reverse the section that I have highlighted. Fade in, we'll give a little fade in at the beginning of the sample where I have it, you know, the start point. And you can change it from linear to log to exponential. All right, same thing with the fade out. Let's try exponential. You can pitch shift the sample. So let's see if I hit, let's say one. And I hit do it. Let's make it a little bit more obvious. All right, that's the pitch shift, time stretch. We'll let you time stretch the sample. You have to know the, uh, when you time stretch, you have to know the amount of beats you're time stretching to make your time stretch accurate. So, let me do this from the beginning. Let's do this. Let's do the whole sample. I know that's... Let's see the end. So let's all right so I happen to know that this sample is 96 beats per minute all right so if I hit time stretch and it's eight beats so it already detects it at 96 beats uh, let's say if I want to bring it to let's say a hundred beats also have gain change so let's go back to that little hi-hat part that I had earlier that I normalized now I could gain change it up or down if I if I want to boost the signal or, or decrease the signal I'm gonna decrease this hi-hat by let's say 5 dB Let's uh, decrease it. Mm, another. My fault. There we go. All right. Um. Here we go copy copy we'll just make a copy of the sample and it'll create a new sample so let's go here if you go into your sample pool you see it just makes a copy duplicate of the sample all right uh let's go back uh bit reduce you could you could reduce the uh, bit rate to give it like a little dirtier sound, like the old school drum machines. Uh, most of these samples are at 16 bits. 
Uh, but the old drum machines like the SP-1200 was a 12-bit uh, drum machine. So let's reduce it down to 12-bit. Reduce it some more. Let's get let's get dirty. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, and then you could change the uh, you could change this sample from stereo to mono, so I could change this whole thing to a, a mono file. So if I hit stereo to mono. I could choose a right channel, I could choose a left channel, or I could choose the channels sum together. Uh, so let's just do the right channel just for argument's sakes. Then when you go to your sample pool, and there's your mono file, all right? And I think that's it. That's all the sample functions in your MPC, and this should help you get started as far as uh, coming up with some creative stuff with your samples and being able to chop things out and splice them and reverse them and do what you need to do to get the job done, all right? I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I've, been doing, I've been using these since the old MPC 2000 XL. Those who had the old MPC... 2000s or the 2000 excels will will remember all of this this is all this is nothing new right here but if you're just getting into the mpc these are the functions that the old mpc used to have and it was it was pretty cool so yeah i hope you like the video and um if it's your first time here make sure you go grab my free drum kit uh it's the first link in the description below and if you need more drums, go check out the Loop Cloud link below and check out the Loop Masters link below if you need some high quality uh, drum kits, high quality loops, high quality piano loop strings, guitars, anything you need. Over 4 million sounds, go grab those up, all right? And if you want to know what I got in my studio right now, check out the Amazon links below. The Amazon links will be everything I have in my studio, including the MPC that I have. I have the MPC Studio Mark II. If you're interested in getting that one, that's the least expensive MPC you can get. And it comes with the software, the MPC software, uh, MPC 2. So, there you go. If you like this video, please click the like button. I thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Click the notification bell. And please share this video with your friends who have NPCs and need some NPC help with the software. All right. It's your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips, and I'm out. Peace.